I'm going to just go through some of the common procedures um, uh, that we do. Nerve root blocks for radiculitis, transferaminal epidural or intralaminar epidural steroids, uh, facet and medial branch uh, blocks for facets, and then in those patients who respond to facet blocks, we may do a radiofrequency ablation for facet uh, disease. We can do these uh, nerve root blocks. We can do a, uh, an, an injection here and, and get a transframinal epidural, or we can go through the lamina itself, through the ligamentum flava, and, and, and position our mixture in the uh, interlaminar epidural space. You can kind of think of this as more specific and less specific. A selective nerve root block might be asked for for a diagnostic purpose. Is this nerve root the cause of the patient's pain? We'll put about a half cc to three quarters of a cc of medication just around that nerve root so it doesn't spread to other nerve roots and we can then assess whether that is in fact the problem in a patient who may be having kind of uh, obscure related uh, radicular pain or in the patient who may have pain down one leg but also uh, spinal stenosis. We may try to do both a nerve root block and an epidural or in the patients who have sort of diffuse back pain or spinal stenosis, we may just simply go through the laminar space. This is the kind of technique we would do for epidural blood patches as well, where a needle is positioned through the, through the ligament, flava, ligament and flava, but uh, dorsal to the dura, and we instill our, our medication there. So let's just talk about the first three. So this is um, kind of what you would see under fluoroscopy. If you were doing a fluoro-guided procedure, remember the nerve root comes out just beneath the pedicle in the lumbar area, and typically you would position your needle at the 6 o'clock uh, position on the pedicle. So if the pedicle was an, uh, a clock, you would position your needle right here at the 6 o'clock where the nerve root's coming out. You don't know how far in you are, so how, how do they do it under fluoro? Well, they wait until the patient goes, ouch, that hurts down the leg and they back off a little bit, inject a little contrast to make sure they're not intravascular, and then instill the medication, and they can see under fluoro uh, the medication extending both along the nerve root as well as back along the epidural space. So that's what they do. What we do is we actually see the dorsal root ganglion. We come down, in this case, just medial to the, uh, the iliac crest and lateral to the facet joint. This is how I, I, I guide the uh, needle right Jason to the facet joint, so it's just beneath the pedicle, just shy of the dorsal root ganglia, inject a little contrast material to make sure that we're not intravascular, and then go ahead and inject usually a cc or two cc's of medication.